Hey guys, it's Paul, and I want to tell you today about VanQuest's Markhor 45 backpacking backpack, I'll tell you all the features, and see if this might be for you. And one thing about VanQuest is I think their customer service is amazing. I talked to Mike on the phone for probably like 45 minutes, and he was just telling me about what he was doing and why they did certain things. It's a company that's very passionate about making bags, and it's really their singular focus is to make great bags and to make bags with great products and to make them very durable and innovative. And I really believe that they've done it with most of their products. So this is one, probably the first bag I've gotten from VanQuest, which is the Marco 45. And this is my bug out slash camping bag, which always stays in my car. And I use it for camping and backpacking. I know for a lot of people, your bug out and your camping bag are different. Mine is exactly the same, so. Hey, so let me tell you about some of the features of this bag, which make it so great. Let's start with the back. It's got really great pads. I mean, the padding is really, really nice. You see it's got, you know, pull downs here for load bearing, which is pretty typical. What's really, really nice about this bag though, is that you can adjust this for your torso height. If you really want a bag to feel terrible on you, don't adjust the torso. I happen to have a long torso, so it went all the way up. So adjusting a torso on any bag, which is this size or larger, is incredibly important. These hip pads are incredibly rigid, which means they can hold the weight in the back here. There is actually a very rigid plastic plate, which actually keeps all the weight onto these weight, uh, waist straps, which is really cool. Uh, here you see, here's the hole in your port for a hydration bladder. Um, you have attachment points here, obviously a, a chest strap with a whistle. One thing I really do like is that on the hip straps, they have two attachment points here and here for attaching um, extra pouches. Now, why that's important is some only have one attachment. With only one attachment place, so when you walk, the bag flops all over the place, which is really, really annoying every time you walk. As you see, if I turn this around, I attach the bag here. This is a Savior brand bag. Sorry, VanQuest, I dropped three bills on this. I couldn't afford to get all your other bags too, but I plan on upgrading one of these days because the VanQuest bags are really, really nice. So. In the future, I want to upgrade to those. On the side here, you have all this laser cup molly. It's the same on the other side. Plus, drink pouches uh, for water bottles, you know. That seems like such a small thing, but some companies don't add that. So you have to add stuff on the outside for that. Of course, you know, on the bottom, you have lashing points. Typically, with these bags, you will have lashing points. VanQuest is no different. And I think probably the coolest thing about this is the beaver tail on the back. Now, they did some things that are different than other companies, which is really cool. Other companies do do beaver tails. But so this has shock cord on the outside, but it has this, which is unique to VanQuest, which is a duck foot, which is so if you shove something down in here, this will actually hold it for you so it doesn't go dropping out the bottom, which is a really nice feature. Again, it's only a VanQuest thing. They also have these um, loops so you can attach your axe or your trekking poles, and they came up with these really innovative clips that you just clip it on and clip it off, and they can expand and hold whatever you have there. Well, again, only VanQuest has these because they made those as well. This beaver tail is reversible if I take this down. So, as you see here, this side has molly, this side has shock cord, you can take this off and switch it so the molly's on the outside if you want to attach something. Um, on the inside here, there's uh, lashes and they give you two of these uh, straps that you can strap things down with. Another really, really innovative thing that's only with VanQuest, which is cool about this bag, is I'm not going to really be able to show you like this, but I'll probably give you a picture so you see it, is you can actually fold these in can't do it one-handed, but you can fold these corners in, which would create like a little cradle so that you can actually hang like a rifle or something really long cradled down here, working up the back of your bag and you can strap it in, which provides you a lot of carry options for different things. Like for me personally, I like bags that have everything internal. I don't like a lot of stuff hanging off my bag. If I have to have a lot of stuff hanging off my bag, I'd rather have a larger bag to keep it on the inside. But I like a lot of options to hang stuff if I needed it. I just don't like it every day today, but if I needed it, I like having it. Um, or if something has to be on the outside, I like it covered up so it's not catching on things or it's not like, you know, it just doesn't look super busy where you got a bunch of crap hanging off your bag. So on the inside here, you know, I have a saw, I have a knife, and it gets covered up by the beaver tail, so it's really um, enclosed and pretty protected, which is really nice, really great features. I'm gonna show you here on the top, what you have is you have two compartments. You have a top compartment, high vis which is, again, really nice, a thing that I really like about Banquist products. And then you have 
a larger compartment underneath that to store things. Again, high vis and inside here you have another zipper. The zipper is access to the main compartment. So if you want to access the main compartment from this compartment, you unzip and you can stick your hand all the way down in there and access stuff if you want it. These are the zippers to zipper pulls for the main compartment, which is a clamshell. One thing I really like is you see these are round and these are sort of more, more rectangular shaped. The difference in shape really differentiates where the, which pull is which. So if I'm grabbing fast, I know that this is the pull to the main compartment. And I'm not confused with this. A lot of times you have a lot of zippers in one area. You don't know what you're unzipping, especially if you're doing it fast. This actually helps a really lot. Again, really well thought out. So this is how you open up the clamshell, which is the main compartment. So clamshells, traditionally, they start, start at the back and they zip open to the front like this. So it starts at the back and opens up towards the front. Now, why that's important is, is what it creates is it creates kind of a bucket when you open this up. So it starts back here, but it creates a bucket that holds everything. So when you open it up, nothing falls out. On the inside of the flap, you have a couple big mesh pockets. This is the zipper that goes to the other compartments if you want to pass through. And inside here is where I have all my stuff. I have like a water purifier, fire kit, toiletries kit. If you guys want to see what's all in my little kits and stuff someday, you know, I can make a video and show you. Again, these are savior bags. I one day will upgrade to all Vanquist bags because they're also very, very, very nice. Probably a little better than these. On the back of this, which you don't see right now because it's covered by stuff, I'll just put a picture. You have actually a whole wall of um, hook and loop or Velcro. Um, Molly, which you can attach things to, plus you have the pouch for your hydration bladder, plus you have the pouch for the rigid um, backer, which gives the rigid support that I had mentioned earlier. So here at your foot box, you actually have a bottom pocket. A lot of backpacks, this is like your sleeping bag pocket. This probably isn't big enough for that, but it's great for putting little things in. I put all my emergency stuff in here, like my first aid kit, you know, dust mask because of, you know, coronavirus right now. 10 years from now, you're either not gonna know what I'm talking about and be great, or you're gonna really know what I'm talking about and the world has been infected. Hopefully not the second one. So now that I've talked about all these great features, I'll just mention some things that maybe could be improved upon. One of the things is the length of these hip belts here. These hip belts are really rigid and really great, but the length is kind of short. Like if I were to put this on, this pouch goes directly on the side of my body, which means that when I walk, my arm is constantly hitting it. Vanquist, I challenge you to try this at home, put on a pouch and walk around and see if your arm doesn't swing and hit this thing. And I have to actually change my gait so my arm goes around the pouch. I feel like, you know, walking with bow arms, you know, like, dude, how many sets you got left? If these were just a little bit longer, so the pouch is sat more on the front of your hip rather than the side where your arms are swinging, it would make a huge, huge difference. Another thing I like to see on Vanquest Ibex series, they have these really long, awesome side pouches. I would love to see this on the Mark Core. I actually saw those and I'm jealous because I would love to see them on this bag because guess what I'd put in there? This ax, all these things that are back here, I would actually store them on the side. You could actually still have those side pouches and have this really cool beaver, beaver tail and you have the best of both worlds because again, for like me, I like things not exposed. I can put all my tools in the side. I wish that this had what the Ibex had, those big long side pouches. They're really, really nice. So these straps that the Markor comes with, these high vis straps are awesome. I just wish that they would have given you four instead of two. I would like two out here to strap things down with, and then I would like two to put on the bottom so I can strap things here with. I just wish they would have given me two more instead of just two, I would have gotten four of those. So probably my biggest complaint, or it's not really a complaint, but something I would have liked to have seen is more grab handles. I know for people who have backpacks who don't have a lot of grab handles, maybe you don't know what you're missing, but I've had a backpack which had tons of grab handles and I use them all the time. When this is sitting in my car, sticking out, I don't really know what to grab to pull it out of the trunk of my car. What I'd like to see is a grab handle right here on top and a grab handle right here on the bottom. Lying on a side, I can pick it up and lift it and bring it other places. Now in the back of my car, I miss not having that because every time I want to pull this out, like when I pulled this out to do this video today, I was like, 
I grabbed this or I grabbed this and I yanked it out by the, you know, by the beaver tail and I didn't have anything that was easy to move it around with. Once you have them, you will use them all the time. The last suggestion I have, um, which is just something that I've experienced again on other backpacks, which I wish that Vanquist would incorporate on theirs, is a four zipper system in their clamshell. So say I'm in my, my car and I wanna grab my toiletry kit, which is in here. I need to find the zipper back here and pull this all the way down and then get into here. I've had other backpacks with four zippers. So there's a zipper at the top, but it also zips up from the bottom. So if I want to get inside, all I have to do is zip, get the thing in the side or at the bottom and zip it back down. That is one of my most used features on my old backpack is the fact that I literally could quick access things and zip it up from the side, zip up from the bottom. There's stuff in here I just want to grab out really quickly when I'm in my car and I can't get to it easily. It has to zip the clamshell open. So VanQuest, if you can add a second set of zippers and then it can be easy, just put another zipper here. So other than that, guys, this bag is awesome. This is right now my go-to camping and disaster emergency bag. I mean, it's one thing to get features that other places have. It's another to get features that only VanQuest has because they create it like this, like this duck foot here or these clasps because of all the features that are on here about how well it's made, their guarantee, their customer service. They're just great guys. Like I said, I talked to Mike on the phone for quite a long time and he was really cool and you hear the passion in their voice and how much they actually take um, feedback from actual customers and they incorporate it. There are not many companies that do that, that actually adjust things per a consumer desires. I would highly recommend this bag. It's worked great for me. I just recommend that you try it on, use it, and I really think that you are not going to be disappointed and you'll be ecstatic about having it.